Hello friends, welcome to Physics Live channel. Today we are discussing second session in quantum mechanics in which uh, we have uh, discussing about the particle classification. We already discussed about the free particle and bound particle. Here we are discussing about the non-relativistic and relativistic. What do you mean by non-relativistic? Non-relativistic that is velocity very much less than C. What is C? C is the velocity of light if you considering the relativistic uh, particle v is approximately equal to c and what is the uh, uh, what is the mass of a relativistic particle mass of the relativistic particle which is different from the non relativistic particle so first of all you have to understand what is meant by relativistic particle. Relativistic particle have the velocity approximately equal to c that is the velocity of light. And if you are considering their mass m is equal to gamma m0 where m0 is the rest mass. m0 is the rest mass. Rest mass that is uh, when velocity is equal to zero, the mass is m naught. And if you are considering relativistic, that means it moves with the velocity comparable with the velocity of light. The mass will be changes with the gamma times. The gamma is the relativistic constant. That is gamma is equal to one by under root one minus v square by c square. And uh, what do you? What is the energy of relativistic particle that is e is equal to under root p square c square plus m naught square c power 4 where e naught is the rest mass energy that is m naught c square we know that energy of a particle that is e is equal to mc square and if you considering a relativistic particle the energy which is change energy change is there the energy of a relativistic particle that is under root p square c square plus m naught square c power 4 where this term that is the rest mass energy rest mass energy uh, that is once again uh, when the velocity is equal to zero the rest mass energy e naught is equal to m naught c square and uh, and if you are considering energy that is is equal to gamma times of rest mass energy and uh, for energy of relativity particle that is under root p square c square plus n naught square c power 4 and for a photon we know the rest mass is equal to 0 so the rest en energy rest mass energy that is equal to 0 and so the, when we substitute rest mass energy is equal to 0 we get energy is equal to under root p square c square that is pc so for photon energy is equal to pc and uh, this is all about the relativistic and non-relativistic particle and uh, next uh, we have to discuss uh, the relativistic con uh, constant and velocity relation so uh, there are some questions uh, in which we have to find velocity from gamma or uh, gamma from velocity so here in the first question they have given velocity is equal to 3 by 5 c find gamma so if you are considering a particle with the velocity 3 by 5 c c is the vel velocity of light and find uh, gamma gamma is the relativity constant so when we substitute v as 3 by 5 c we get uh, 1 by under root 1 minus 9 by 25 c square there is also the c square and cancel c square and we get the answer as 5 by 4 another that is uh, we have to uh, find velocity from gamma that is gamma is given by 13 by 5 so we can uh, first of all find the velocity term from the equation gamma is equal to 1 by under root 1 minus v square by c square but there is a trick that is if you are considering gamma gamma uh, numerator that is as a hypotenuse 5 as a that is denominator as a side of it uh, side of a triangle okay 
so uh, we get the other side for uh, by using Pythagoras theorem so we get uh, the other side is 12 so the other side divided by hypotenuse will give you the velocity otherwise you can uh, simply uh, uh, use the formula that is gamma is equal to 1 by under root 1 minus v square by c square and uh, uh, first uh, remove the square root and find velocity expression from the gamma otherwise you can follow this trick that is gamma is given so consider the numerator as a hypotenuse and denominator as a um, side and we have to find the other side of the triangle uh, and uh, we have to uh, use the Pythagoras theorem to find the other side and the other side divided by hypotenuse will give you the velocity. We can also find the gamma from this uh, velocity use this Pythagoras uh, Pythagoras uh, technique that is we can consider velocity 3 by 5 as a, uh, a triangle in which uh, 3 as one side and 5 as hypotenuse and under root 5 square by uh, 5 square minus 3 square is this side that is uh, 25 minus 9 that is uh, 16 that is uh, under root 16 that is 4 so Gamma is uh, hypotenuse divided by other side that is 5 by 4 C. Sorry, gamma is 5 by 4. So that's the answer. So we can use uh, the trick also. Here we are discussing about the wavelength for relativistic particle. We know that energy of a relativistic particle that is E is equal to under root P square C square plus M naught square C power 4 so E square is P square C square plus M naught square uh, C power 4 and we know that M naught C square that is rest mass energy and uh, we can find PC as like this PC is equal to under root E square minus E naught square because m naught c square is e naught we can represent it like this and we can find pc and what is the de Broglie wavelength for a latestic particle lambda is equal to h by p and here uh, we uh, we get the term that is pc so we multiply c on both sides numerator and denominator that is hc divided by pc and we substitute the that is under root e square minus e naught square so we get the expression that is hc divided by under root e square minus e naught square that is the square difference of energy and rest mass energy in, uh, under root in the denominator and this is the uh, expression for wavelength for a relativistic particle and we can substitute also energy we know that kinetic energy plus rest mass energy for a relativistic particle so k plus e naught and uh, uh, we know that uh, a plus b or square can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So like that here k square plus uh, e naught square plus 2k e naught minus e naught square. So e naught square cancel the and uh, we get as k square plus 2k e naught. Okay and uh, we get the expression here. So we can... Uh, Substitute this the as under root k square plus 2k naught. So we have uh, two expressions for relativistic particle that is hc divided by under root e square minus e naught square and uh, next that is hc divided by under root k square plus 2k naught. And what is the situation for non relativistic? We know that non relativistic kinetic energy is very much lesser than rest mass energy. So in the expression hc divided by under root k square plus 2k naught that is already get uh, already got in this uh, relativistic particle and we can take 2k naught as outside and we get as 1 plus k by e naught inside and we can uh, neglect k by e naught because the e naught is very bigger value for a non relativistic particle that is rest mass energy is very much for a non relativistic particle kinetic energy is less so we can uh, neglect the term so we get 
एच सी डिवाइड बै अंडर रूट टू के नोट और टू के एम नोट सी स्क्वय वि नो दैट रिस्टमास दट एम नोट सी स्क्वय एंड the c square inside the square root and we cancel the h c c and c square inside the square root and we get the expression as h divided by under root 2 m not k or we can represent for a non relativistic particle m not as m because rest mass and rest mass and uh, mass is uh, same for non relativistic so m not Uh, can be represented as m that is h divided by under root 2 mk for a non relativistic particle so by concluding the wavelength for relativistic and non relativistic we have three expressions uh, that is lambda relativistic that is equal to h c divided by under root e, no, e square minus e not square and uh, uh, h c divided by under root k square plus 2 k e not for a relativistic particle and non relativistic particle h divided by under root 2 mk is equal to h divided by under root 2 m e minus v that is k is the kinetic energy that can be replaced with the total energy minus potential energy will give you the kinetic energy so we can by heart only one that is h divided by under root 2 mk for a non relativistic for relativistic that is h c divided by under root e square minus e not square or h c divided by under root k square plus 2 k e not okay this is all about the wavelength